Hello everyone, it's DA here. Hope you guys are doing great. Hope you are doing fantastic. Today we're going to be talking about Iron Banner, what makes it good, and you know, some of the things that I kind of didn't like about it this season, how it is different from last season. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is that after five games, I literally completed the quest step, or let's say the bounties for iron banner which is a really really fun thing to do and uh that is one of the pinnacle points that i'm going to talk about when we're comparing this to previous season if you guys don't know last season that is when bungie introduced this whole quest step thing where you cannot acquire some of these armor pieces or items until you have completed those quest steps and it was tedious last season because even with some of the fact that hey you have to do this with people in your squad or any of those things like that it was hard to do however this season the quest steps are a lot easier because instead of squishing all those weapon kills or bounties into just one quest step they separated them and after you completed one it gives you the weapon for the next one and then the weapon for the next one after that i think that's one of the things that i really enjoyed about what bungie did with this season's iron banner i also love the fact that the quest steps are not tedious it gives you one weapon and one armor piece after you complete every single step and of course you have the powerful rewards which give you powerful items which you can then use to level up plus iron banner uh, vendor drops um, enhanced perks for your weapons and armor pieces which is something that I really you know enjoy and I like that they have done that so far one of the major reasons to even do iron banner this season now when we're talking about things that I did not like you know it's crucible we're going to be talking about sweats and all that kind of stuff the first one is going to be the the matchmaking system now granted i know that everything has a level advantage in iron banner because you know the higher your level the more potent you are the lower your level you are at a bigger risk so they're trying to match people around the same level so they're not getting one tapped or two tapped in this activity the hard part however is the fact that yes bungie wanted us to do iron banner they wanted us to level up however the higher you go when it comes to leveling up you won't be able to find the iron banner match and that's one of the things that my squad and i encountered a lot of us were at 960 plus uh some of us were at 965 967 and we were in the queue for several minutes and that was because we couldn't get anybody couldn't match us with anyone and we also had situations where a lot of people will match against us. They will look at our power level and then we immediately drop out. That is one of the big things that I didn't like with Iron Banner. Now, the final thing that I'm going to talk about is going to be, you know, dealing with Crucible in general. And that is something dealing with hackers and stuff. Um, this has been a big issue ever since Destiny 2 moved to Steam. And that is, uh, I, I mean, we all knew it was going to happen. But, you know, this time it was just crazy to see it in person. You know, it is the curse of every PC game. Um, you know, you have hackers and crucible people teleporting around the place. Um, network manipulation. Some people are just using straight off codes, you know, shooting through walls, invincibility and all that kind of stuff. And that is one of the things that I did not like. Of course, a lot of people were mad because... In my video, when I was showcasing this, I was using Recluse. But if you got the weapon, I mean, you got to use it. That's one of the things that you just got to do. You can't get a weapon and decide not to use it because the community doesn't like it. However, one thing that is just outright wrong is when someone is hacking. But other than that, Iron Banner this season has been fun. I already finished grinding one character. I'm going to jump to another one and then another one. So it is really nice, you know, completing an entire bounty or quest steps in five games is is amazing anyways thank you guys for watching let me know what you guys think about this season's iron banner you know has it been sweaty has it been amazing feel free to share your thoughts down below in the comment section thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one